As mandated by law, President Choi Museveni, the Commander-in-Chief of all armed forces, presided over the passing out ceremony of over 2,000 prison officers at Kololo ceremonial grounds. <laughs> The group includes 200 cadets at the rank of assistant superintendent of prisons, 318 cadet principal officers, and 1,716 recruit warders and wardresses. The Commissioner General of the Prison Services, Johnson Biavashaija, asked the judiciary to expedite the judicial process to further reduce the number of inmates on remand in prisons. I will request for a further improvement in these numbers so that we have got more, far much more convicts than the remandes, in order for us to execute our functions. Internal Affairs Minister Major General Kahindo Tafire faulted government for treating prison and police officers as ordinary civil servants and called for a change in practice, a move backed by the president. The police and prison service carry arms. I think it's a mismatch to treat the police and the prison service as traditional civil servants. But definitely the police and prisons are not civil service. But this is part of the colonial hangover, which we still have. The president then ordered the key scientists in the prison services to be highly paid, even if it means being paid higher than their supervisors. Let the, let the, the, the engineers who are in the in the police, be paid a bit more than even you, the commissioner this, commissioner that, commissioner that. We shall increase that salary later so that they do the work. Museven also added voice to the need for the issuance of digital number plates as one of the key means to boost security. I am insisting on the issue of the electronic number plates. So I want that gap to be closed that all these arguments which are going on should come down and be done quietly. Ali Mivule, NTV.